What's up guys, welcome to the garage. Um, in this video, we're gonna talk about my Honda City Turbo Drifter. Now, those that have followed the channel for a while would have seen this, um, has been my profile picture on the channel for quite some time. Started off life as a Tamiya Honda City Turbo. It's now got a completely different chassis on it. However, it is still, the body is still how Tamiya made it, apart from obviously the weather paint that I've done. I think this is probably, out of every single RC car out there, this is my favourite looking. I just love the look, of the retro like JDM look of this Honda City Turbo. Maybe I'll have one one day, a real one, who knows. Anyway, let's have a look at this and see what I've done to it. Poor Mario fell out during the uh, making of this video, so he's just chilling out over here. So this Mario, the head of this Mario, I can't remember, it's off like a kid's toy, um, and it's the perfect fit for the Tamiya little drive they give you for the Honda City Turbo, and I think it comes with uh, some of the other stuff as well. So perfect fit, and I've painted it in Mario colors. Anyway, he's gonna chill out over there. Let's have a look at the actual car. and see it sits lovely and low. I will take the body off and show you underneath. So this chassis is off of my Remo Hobby um, short course truck and I've changed the bumpers over to the S-Max bumpers because they're slightly smaller and that body fits over nicely. The motor is the Remo Hobby brushless motor and then I've added a uh, waterproof, uh, more powerful servo. I've added a um, 60 amp ESC. We're running a 2S nanotech lipo that is 1.3 milliamp hours and uh, just running i think this is off of yeah this is off of the zd racing mt16 it's a six well six channel receiver but it's a four channel um transmitter so just got that plugged in and the important thing for this is that little gyro there that is what is helping this thing drift along um, and I've got just some standard one temp size plastic drift wheels. I've not done anything, I've not spaced it out or anything like that completely as it comes. The only difference or the only thing I've had to do is mount these body mounts on there and then that one on the front. These body mounts are actually the ones that come out of the box for the um, Honda City Turbo. I've put some magnet connectors on the top of that one. You can see I've screwed them through the um, shock tower. Oh, actually, yeah, forgot to say, this has got um, oil shocks on it as well. But yeah, so I've screwed them through the shock tower and then just put a couple of cable ties uh, around it to stop them moving about. Then the front one, that is again a Honda City Turbo mount. I've screwed that through the front um, suspension mount. You can see the original ones there. It did take me quite some time to get it sitting how I wanted it, um, but I think you'll agree that it sits really nice. That front lip, once it's actually sat on there, I'm not gonna put the pins in, but once it's sat on there, it is just probably about two mil off the floor, and then you've got a nice level um, look on the back as well. So even though they're magnetic, um, body mounts, I've not got the magnets on the top, I've got the little screw with the magnet that's meant to screw in the top there, and all I've done is screwed it in via the top here, like so. And I found that the best way, or that was the um, the best way to get it level and get it the height I wanted, was to remove that magnet from underneath and put it on the top. Anyway, I hope that answers a few questions. I did um, get quite a few requests, I put the little uh, cinematic video up of this drifting quite some time ago now and I did get quite a few people asking how I built it. There's links to as much as I can find in the description. Some of this I already had anyway, but I put a link in the description for as much as I can. So if you wanna build this uh, yourself, um, you can. Anyway, enjoy the video. This was loads of fun, although it was really wet and that skate park is super slippery, um, especially with these plastic wheels. 
Anyway, enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. This is completely the wrong weather today to do this guys. It's wet, it's windy, it is cold and this is on, as you've seen, plastic drift wheels but let's give it a go. I mean this surface is slippery anyway at the best of times. I could have easily brought you, I could have easily done this video and given you some old content of this thing drifting but you know that's not me, I like to bring new stuff to you and you'll see how well this drifts considering how slippery this surface is. Not only does this look cool, <laughs> it drifts really well. I am shocked with them wheels that it's drifting this well. On this surface anyway. Turn the dual rate down to about 40% on the throttle. Because no, otherwise it's just a bit leery. This is so much fun. Pull up now. Should we see if we can get a little drift jump in? This thing is awesome. Not sure how well you can hear me. Apologies for the wind, but considering plastic wheels, stupidly slippery surface, this thing is so much fun. Uh, let's get it on in. Way too slippery. Wouldn't be a drift video without a decent montage. Cheers for watching guys, this thing is insane. I'll see you next time.
times. 